tolerancing standards govern nearly everything we do in metrology, so revisions can have a broad impact on our industry and on metrology software like PCDMIS in particular. With the recent revision to ASME Y14 5.1, we are provided with a new single solution for datums, and with PCDMIS 2020R2, this has been implemented with the completely new geometric tolerance command. Before looking at the new command in PCDMIS, it's necessary to overview the revision made to datum features. In previous versions of ASME Y14 5.1, the datum was derived from a collection of possible datums known as the candidate datum set. The datum used for analysis was selected from this set by choosing the candidate that provided the best fit of the features toleranced with respect to it. Needless to say, this created as many datum results as there are software products, making correlation between these products a burden and certification of the results impossible. After the standards revision, we now have a single solution for the datum, solving a key challenge in correlation and finally opening the door to third-party certification of geometric tolerance results. This new solution may be referred to as Constrained L2, but what is important for the metrologist is that it is the default datum solution used by parts designed to ASME Y14.5 2018. On to the new command. For those who have used previous versions of PCDMIS, the Geometric Tolerance command is a replacement of the exact measure G and T command. It is accessed in the same way through either the Insert Dimension menu or from the toolbar with the Use Legacy Dimensioning option turned off. Once open, you are presented with an intuitive feature control frame builder that shares much of the capability with the old command, plus a long list of improvements. The most obvious will be the added support for composite position and profile tolerances with up to five segments, making it possible to satisfy even the most creative design requirements. A number of new modifiers are also available for use. The dynamic profile modifier added in ASME Y14.5 2018 will allow you to remove the size constraint from non-planar features. The tangent plane modifier removes the underlying form from orientation results, and the translation modifier is now available as an option for lower precedence datums. As shown, we've placed the less common modifiers behind a checkbox to prevent the extra click for the majority of created tolerances. ISO 1101 support has also been expanded. Users are now able to select the unequal and offset zone modifiers for profile tolerances, as well as the use of the proper symbols to simplify creation and programming to this standard. Aside from these highlighted changes, the geometric tolerance command has user-driven improvements for nearly every tolerance type. Form tolerances can now provide the least squares results often needed for process adjustment. Orientation tolerances have smart planar zones that only require input when needed. And concentricity now has the elusive median point definition available as an option when working to the ASME standard. Less obvious behind the scenes changes involve expanded support for previously unhandled datum reference frames and a completely reworked real-time error checker that provides more precise messages right in the dialog as you create the feature control frame. The datum definition command has also been reworked to improve the user experience when creating complex datums. To build a datum pattern, you can now assign multiple features to a single datum letter and to build a common datum, you can now combine previously defined datums using a checkbox in the window. Both of these are then available for selection in the Feature Control Frame Builder. On the Report tab, a number of new options are available. Most importantly, since features containing surface data are solved directly by the Geometric Tolerance command, the math used is now available for selection. You can choose from either default, which will use the default math provided by the selected standard, or least squares. This choice is available for both the considered features and datums, or the tolerance zone fit in the case of form tolerances. Text and graphical analysis are now available on a per-segment basis, and it creates a unique graphic object for each selected segment, rather than attempting to overlap the results. You will also see this capability exposed in the analysis window, allowing for graphic analysis of different segments without requiring duplicate dimensions. Beyond the command creation, a number of improvements were made to the edit window and report. By popular demand, the edit window now displays the measured value, delivering results quicker than ever. 
And for those programmers who use expressions to solve the countless problems we encounter in manufacturing, you'll find the reworked availability of the results complete and intuitive. The report window also addresses some common user feedback by combining the reference axis information with the position results, better defaults for displayed columns and bonus information, and removing the often misunderstood datum shift table. You will also see smaller details like decimal alignment and trim dimension IDs addressed. The geometric tolerance command represents years of effort in order to deliver the most comprehensive and current GDNT analysis solution possible. There's simply too much to cover in a feature spotlight, so more complete information with specific examples can be found by watching a recorded user group available on our website shown here. We hope the geometric tolerance command simplifies creation of complex characteristics in PCDMS 2020 R2.